Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war in October 2023, a Yemen-based group called the Houthis has conducted dozens of strikes against cargo vessels navigating the Red Sea, a crucial shipping route connecting Asian markets to Europe. These strikes have driven up insurance costs and the prices of imported goods. Various global shipping firms have suspended their operations in the area as a result. Some companies are rerouting their ships via the Cape of Good Hope, off the coast of South Africa, a journey that delays delivery times by about two weeks. Since the 11th of January this year, Britain and the United States have conducted several airstrikes against the group, citing the security of international trade. So who are the Houthis? To find out, let's get back to basics. The group originally comes from northern Yemen, where most of the population follows a branch of Shia Islam called Sayyidism. In response to Saudi-led efforts to promote Sunni Islam in these poorer northern areas, a Zaidi cleric called Hussein al-Houthi launched a peaceful resistance movement in the 1990s. The movement split into different factions in 2001. The faction led by al-Houthi became known simply as the Houthis. Is Iran back? rebels are claiming responsibility. The group and its supporters soon posed a threat to the state. In response to the Yemeni government's support for the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003, al-Houthi called for mass protests. Following the example of Iran's revolutionary forces and Lebanese Hezbollah, the group overtly called for the destruction of both the US and Israel. The government responded with force. Yet even though al-Houthi was killed in 2004, the harsh, state-led campaign simply bolstered the Houthis' numbers by spurring many fighters to join the group's ranks. During the Arab Spring in 2011, the Houthis overran the northern governorate of Sada. In 2014, they seized the capital Sana'a and most of western Yemen. A Saudi-led campaign launched against the Houthis in 2015 has resulted in thousands of deaths and what the UN has labeled the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Despite more than seven years of conflict, a fragile ceasefire signed in 2022 has allowed the Houthis to regroup and to rearm. The group wants to improve its standing both at home and across the Arab world. It believes that attacking ships linked to Israel and the West more generally will help it to win geopolitical backing in areas across the region where support for the Palestinian cause is high. Iran, Saudi Arabia's regional foe, has helped to turn the group into a force capable of using ballistic and cruise missiles to target crucial choke points for international trade, namely the Red Sea and the Bab al-Mandeb Strait. The world is now watching.